Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my industrial brewing stand. Now, what I mean by that is it can make more than three potions. Now, if you're looking at it right here, yes, it uses a lot of resources. It's not that hard of a build, but the resources for this thing is very heavy depending on how many rows you put in. Now, mine, since I have four rows here, I can make up to 12 potions. Each row makes three potions. Normally, in any brewing stand, you make three potions. So each row makes three more. So three, six, 12, and I mean, three, six, nine, 12. <laughs> I was about to say 18, wait, what? <laughs> so right down here is the chest where our potions are gonna be going once they are done brewing. Up here is the chest where all our water is. And then this lever right here is just gonna, we're gonna switch that on once our potions are done. Then up here where all these down levers are is where we're gonna be brewing it. So if, actually, if, let me put all these levers up real quick. There we go. So without any of these levers down, we're gonna brew three potions. The first lever we put down, we're gonna brew six potions. The second lever we put down, we're gonna brew nine potions. And then last but not least, that's gonna be 12 potions. Now, obviously you can make this thing go much further, but of course you're gonna need a lot more redstone to do that. So we're gonna be brewing 12 potions, obviously, cause you guys wanna see, I'm probably, you probably wanna see all the potions being made. So of course, with every potion, you're gonna need nether wart, unless you wanna make a weakness potion, but most people aren't gonna be making weakness potions. Uh, I guess, no, I guess for making uh, zombie villagers into regular villagers, Never mind. <laughs> so we're gonna click this button for the nether wart first. Then we could click whatever else we want. So I'm gonna go with magma cream. I forget what these do actually, cause I haven't uh, made a potion in a while. But we're gonna go with magma cream and redstone right here for extra time. Now I know this is extra time. This makes it, uh, it increases its strength and this one will make it a splash potion, the gunpowder. So let's just go over here. And as you can see, they are brewing right now. So let me just get a little overhead view right here if you got, for you guys. So if you wanna actually set it up this way, I love it this way. It's the perfect order right here, I think, for your thing. So the first one is nether wart, then golden carrot, then spider eye, gas tear, um, glycerin melon, then it's magma cream, sugar, fermented spider eye, redstone, glowstone, and gunpowder. Now, obviously, if you're on the PC, there's also rabbit foot and other stuff like that, but we're on the console, so we don't have any of that. So if you want to come back to this part at the end, once you're done building this, you can go ahead and do that because that will help you figure out where to put all your stuff. So let's see if these potions are almost done. Yep, they're almost done. So as you can see, we have a potion of resistance. I mean, fire resistance. And now it's going to increase the time for it. Boop. So now all our potions are done. Once that light comes on, that means our potions are done. We can brew more potions. So if we come right over here where this lever is, we just flip down this lever like this. All the potions get sucked into the hoppers underneath them. And then they all funnel down into this chest right here. So then all we do is open up the chest. Now, if you see, there's a water bottle right here. Now, there's supposed to be four water bottles in here because mine has a floor. My my build has a floor. And that is what happens is when you flip down the lever, it's supposed to lock these hoppers, making it so water bottles can't keep funneling through. But however, when you flip up the lever, the first thing to get unlocked is this hopper and not the brewing stand getting locked. So pretty much it lets one water bottle through every single time. It's not that big of a deal. I could, I did have a way to fix it, but it was just so much more redstone, guys. So as you see, we have 12 fire potions right here. And then when we flip the lever up, the water bottles will refill up our brewing stand, making it ready to brew another batch of potions. So let's start building this thing, guys. It's a very easy build, but it costs a lot of resources. All right, guys. So I'm going to be showing you how to build three lines of them. It's a very repetitive build. So once you learn how to build even the second line, you should be done and ready to go to build as many lines as you want. So for three lines, we're going to need a 16 by five spacing. And we're also gonna have to dig down two. Now you do need to dig down three in just a few air in a few areas for the pistons. So just make sure you have enough room to dig down three. So you can easily build this on a flatlands world if you wanted to. All right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need now this is for each individual line. Each individual line will cost this much stuff. So I just did this. So in case, you know, we want to keep adding on more lines. So for each individual line, you're going to need 17 hoppers, 11 droppers, one sticky piston, 11 pistons, one redstone compatter. Now the first line you do, the first brewing stand line you do, you don't need any repeaters whatsoever. So scratch the idea with that. The first line, you don't need any repeaters, but you're going to need 12 repeaters for every line, then three redstone torches, 17 redstone dust, one tripwire hook, one lever, one brewing stand, and 22 pieces of sand. Now, this is just for the general build in all around. You're gonna need 11 buttons, one lever, four chests, and a redstone lamp. That's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. 
So let's just start building this thing, guys. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to start off by doing is putting in our brewing stands. So what you need to do is come over here to the bottom right of your 16 by 5 spacing. And then we're going to go from the corner and we're going to go over 11 blocks. So just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Make sure it's 11, guys. And then we're going to go back the other way with 11 more blocks. So if you want to recount it again, just to make sure you put in 11, then go ahead and do so. Next, what we're going to do is put another row of 11 blocks right here. So then there's your third chance to make sure you put in 11 blocks. And we're going to put buttons all along these blocks. Now, these are blocks of choice. So make sure you have a nice block right here because you will be able to see these. Like right over there, I use red stained clay as well. Then right on top of the blocks, what we're going to do is put droppers facing upwards. Make sure they are droppers, not dispensers. Droppers. Then we're going to come all the way down over here to the left hand side and i forgot to take out my brewing stand take out your brewing stand and then go into sneak mode and put your brewing stand right here at the end of this last dropper then we're going to put a hopper going into the top of the brewing stand like that come on there we go and then we're going to put a row of hoppers going from this hopper all the way down to the end so go into sneak mode and just put a row of hoppers going all the way down to the end like so oh guys it takes forever there we go <laughs> Next, we're going to do is just put in the other three. I think that's the easiest way to get it through. Obviously, if you don't want to do that, uh, you know yeah, yeah, let's just put in all three of them. So after you got the first row in here, then come right behind them. And then right down here, we're going to put a line of redstone dust going all the way down to the end of this first dropper. Then we're going to put a line of blocks right above this redstone dust. And then we're going to take out our repeaters. So go ahead and take out your repeaters. And right where the buttons are, we're going to put a line of repeaters behind these buttons going this general direction. I think you can see how this thing's working, right? <laughs> Next, what I want you to do is come down here where this redstone dust is and then delete out these blocks right here. That's why I said you need to have enough room to dig down three. Then we're going to put pistons facing upwards. Next, what you're going to do is take out your sand blocks and put two rows of sand blocks going on top of these pistons like that. There we go. Next, what I want you to do is actually activate this redstone dust right here. So go ahead and take out a uh, torch right here and just put it right next to this redstone dust. And then right above these sand blocks, we're going to put droppers facing upwards. So just put a row of droppers again facing upwards. And we're going to do the same thing like we did in the beginning. Next, what we're going to do is put a brewing stand coming off the side of our dropper right here like we did in the beginning. Then we're going to go right up here and put a hopper coming out the top of our brewing stand like so. And then do the same thing like we did over there. Just put a line of hoppers going all the way down. It's going to take a little while because we're in sneak mode. But it is the easiest way to put them in. So that, are we almost there? There we go. Beautiful. And then we're going to just do the same thing one more time, guys. So what we're going to do is come back here. We're going to put a line of redstone dust next to these pistons. Delete out these blocks right here next to the redstone dust. Then we're going to put a row of pistons facing upwards. It's just the same thing over and over again, guys. Then we're going to put two rows of sand blocks. One, two. Then we're going to come over here and just put a torch right here to activate it. We could take away this torch over here. It's no longer needed. I just did that so we can easily put in our droppers. So then just come over here and put a torch right here next to the redstone dust. It'll activate both of them. Don't worry about that. Next, what we're going to do is go ahead and put a dropper right on top of all these sand blocks. Then we're going to come right over here and put a brewing stand coming off the side of our dropper like we did before. So take out your brewing stands and put it on the side of this dropper like that. Then come right up top of here, put a hopper going into the top of your brewing stand, and then put another line of hoppers going all the way down off each individual hopper. And uh, this takes forever. <laughs> I wish they made an easier way, to, a faster way to do this. Like maybe you could go into your settings or something. <laughs> so there we go. Now we got every single one of them hooked in. Oh yeah, let's take away this torch. Make sure you take away this torch over here. All right, guys. So next, what I want you to do is come right over here where this first brewing stand is right in the front. And we're going to put two chests like this. Then come right underneath our brewing stand and put a hopper going into the back of this chest and then bring the line of hoppers going all the way down right here. Now, this is where our potions are going to funnel into once they are done brewing. So there we go. So once our potions are done brewing inside our brewing stands, they will fall into the hoppers, thus traveling all the way down into this chest right here, which is going to store all our potions once they're done brewing. Next, what I want you to do is come over here and going into the side of each brewing stand, we're going to put a hopper in there as well. So go into sneak mode and put a hopper going into the side of each brewing stand. So just look right at the brewing stand and put a hopper going right into it. There we go. 
Next, what I want you to do is go all the way to the back to your last one you made. I don't know how many you've made, but go all the way back to the last one and just bring a line of blocks going all the way up like this. We could delete these two blocks. Then right above these hoppers that are going into the side of your brewing stands, we're going to put a hopper going into this back block and then literally just go into sneak mode and bring it all the way to the front. So I'll go like this and bring it all the way to the front like that. This is for our water bottles right here. So as you can see, there's a line of hoppers going this way into this block over here that's no longer needed. Now, the reason why I say leave it like that is just in case you decide to add on more in the future. Like if you wanna add up more on the future, just leave that notch like that so you can just add on more. Then right over here at the front, what we're gonna do is put a chest right above this corner hopper, right like this. Oh, go into sneak mode and put a chest going into it and put another chest there. So there's where our water bottles are going to be going. Now we get to start actually doing some redstone work, guys. I, I know it's been a while, but we finally get to do it. So what I want you to do is come right over here and where this chest is, we're just gonna come up a block right here. And we're, you know, don't do that right now. Just leave it open for now. We're gonna put a block there later on just to hide the redstone. But right over here on this hopper closest to this chest, just go into sneak mode, put a block next to it and put a lever on top of that block like that. Then what I want you to do is come right underneath the block with the lever and put two blocks coming out towards that hopper like that. As you can see, it's two blocks from underneath that lever. Put two pieces of redstone dust on top of these blocks and then put a torch coming off the side of this block. And what this torch is gonna do is lock this hopper that's right underneath that brewing stand right there. So potions, well, not potions, but water bottles, don't keep funneling through all the time. It's just gonna mess it up and it's gonna pretty much just break everything. So make sure you get that torch underneath that hopper right there. Next, what we're gonna do is put a block right next to this redstone dust like that. Then where the block is that has the lever on it, we're gonna put a repeater coming out of the block with the lever on it like that. And then off the side of the block that has this repeater on it, we're gonna put a hook right here. Now, the reason why we have to put a hook there, or you can also put a lever here, but I highly recommend not putting a lever there because then your friend might think, oh, there might be a secret in there and then he might flip it down and ruin everything. So just use a hook. And what the hook does is redirect this redstone because if we have the redstone going straight into this hopper right here, it's just gonna keep the hopper locked forever. And we don't want that. So put a hook like that just to redirect that redstone like so. Next, we're gonna do is the next line right here, which is gonna become a little bit different. The first line is always easy because you don't need any repeaters or anything like that. This repeater is just here for the second row right there. So to set up the next row, what we're gonna do is just put a block right in front of this repeater, like this, put a block right in front of it. Then we're gonna come up three blocks, one, two, three, like that from the one that's in front of the repeater. So there should be four blocks right here, one, two, three, four. Delete the two middle ones and put a sticky piston facing downwards with a lever on top of it like that. And then flip down the lever for now. You can keep it down just for now. Then right underneath this block, we're gonna come down two blocks, one, two, delete the middle block. Next, what I want you to do is swing over here to this side and we're gonna come out a block towards our hopper right here like this with two pieces of redstone dust like that. And as you can see, it's already connecting into our hook, which is what we want. Then we're gonna put a torch right underneath this block like we did just over here. As you see, it's the same thing, guys, the same exact thing. However, this is where it gets a little bit different. Next, we're gonna do is put a block right up here and we're gonna put a comparator coming out of this block like this. So the cool thing about having this comparator here is if there's no water bottles inside this hopper that funnels into your brewing stand, then it won't turn on that line because then you'll just be funneling items in here and the items will just keep clogging up the area because there's no water bottles to make the potions. So the cool thing about having that comparator is that there is that it stops that from happening. Next, what we're gonna do is put a block up right in front of our comparator like that, come a block underneath it as well, delete this middle block, put redstone dust right here so the comparator will activate that redstone dust. Next, put a torch coming off the side of this block like that, put redstone dust right underneath it, and then we're gonna come two more redstone dust towards that way. So one, two, three like that. Then we're gonna swing back over here to the front of it, put a block coming out of that on redstone dust. And then coming out of this block, we're gonna put a torch here. Now, before you put your torch, just delete this redstone dust right here, put the torch, the torch should go off, and then put your redstone dust back. So when the items are inside this hopper, and when there's items inside this hopper, this will go up. When there's items inside this hopper, this will go up. So that's how that pretty much works. And now we're gonna do the same exact thing we just did here one more time. So to start things off, we're gonna do the same exact thing, put a block right next to this redstone dust. Then we're gonna put a repeater coming out of this block. Next, we're gonna put a block right in front of the repeater. Come up three more blocks. One, two, I went inside the dropper. Two, oh, hopper, I mean three. <laughs> Delete these two middle blocks. Put a sticky piston facing downwards with a lever on top of it. We can go ahead and flip down that lever for now. Then coming underneath it, we're gonna put a block like that. Put some redstone dust here. 
put another block here with redstone dust and then put a oops, let me get you know let me just go like this real quick i didn't know it's going to be this uh compact there we go <laughs> and we're going to put a torch coming off this block right here like we did with the other two and then right here in the middle block we're going to put a hook so we can uh so this does not go into this hopper so put a hook right here obviously if you have more then you can just skip every one for a hook so you don't have to keep wasting so many hooks next what we're going to do is come over here and put a block up put a comparator coming out of this block right here put a block in front of the comparator come underneath with the block put some redstone dust here in the middle put a torch to the side of the block put some redstone dust down here here and here come to the front of it put a block right here you can go ahead and delete this redstone dust just for now put a torch in and then put redstone dust back like that and that's it guys you are completely done with this thing that is literally it so how this thing pretty much works is we're gonna have to put some items in it first so i'm just gonna skip up some i'm just gonna use nether wart and golden carrots for this guys like i said if you want to come back here like i did in the beginning and put all your stuff in this order i think this is the best order to do it in you can go ahead and pause the video and put all your stuff in this order however what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put a few nether warts in each one so i'm gonna go and ahead and put i guess three in this one uh three in this one Oh yeah, we're also going to clean it up, guys. I'm just showing you that it works. So I'm going to put three in this one and three in this one. Then inside this one, I'm just going to go ahead and throw some golden carrots. So one, two, three. Uh, let's put some in here. One, two, three. And some in here as well. One, two, three. There we go. So now we can make some potions. And then we have to just put in our water bottles. So let me get some water bottles out. Now I'm going to have to put a few water bottles in there. So I'm on creative, so it's very easy for me to get water bottles. Obviously, if you want to make easy water bottles for yourself, just make an infinite water source over here and then have a furnace with coal in it and just throw sand blocks in it, you know, just to keep making more. So we're just going to fill this up right here. And as you see, our potions are getting filled up along the line. Obviously, it's going to keep filling up each individual area. So we have to put in a lot of water bottles. So let me get out a bunch of water bottles. Go. So that should be enough for the second one to fill up. Yep. And then we just need enough for the third one to fill up. Take out all my water bottles and fill up the third one as well. You know what? Let me fill it up so at least it has extra water bottles in there too. Let me just fill this up so there's extra water bottles in here. There we go. Beautiful. So, oh, please stop. Please stop. Ah, oh, you know, I want to make it so the chest is full. That's what I want. I want the chest to be completely full. There we go. No? Still? Nope, there we go. Now it's full. <laughs> it is now it is now completely full. <laughs> that took a little while. So there we go, guys. Now it is completely done. Everything is filled up. So all we have to do is come up here and we just choose whatever spots. Yours should already be down for you. So if you want to do one or two, if you want to do two, you can just flip down that one right there. Because as you can see, each line will activate both set of pistons. But I'm going to go like this. So if you want to just do six potions, then flip that lever up and you'll do six potions. If you want to do nine potions, just flip that lever down. You'll do nine potions. And then if you have more, then you can do 12, 15, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to do all, you know, what? I'm going to do six potions. Let's just do six potions for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click the nether wart first is always first. So the nether wart goes in and then we click this button and the golden carrot should go in right up here. And then pretty much while the, while that, you know, while that's brewing, let's just clean up the area a little bit. So we're going to need some stairs, some blocks of choice. And what I like to do is I like to put a block of choice here to hide the redstone. And then we come out one more side with stairs like that. And then we just go up like this. Now, the reason I have the stairs here is just so we can get up to those levers right there. So go like that, put some stairs in there. And then we can bring a line of blocks right down here. There we go. And then we can just fill this up right here as well. All right, guys. So I left the game and came back in because my game was lagging really badly. But as you can see, all the potions are done. So all we have to do is just flip down this lever right here. All our potions will funnel down into our chest. We should also have one extra water bottle in there at the second brewing station. But if we flip it back up, all the water bottles will fill back into our brewing stands. I guess I didn't have enough water in there to fill up that last one at the end. I also noticed another thing, guys, is I never put my line of repeaters over here. So this... This brewing stand wouldn't have worked anyway because I never put that line of repeaters in here. So it didn't really matter. So just make sure you have this line of repeaters in between the sand blocks like I did right here at the beginning. Just remember to put that in. I completely forgot to do that. So, But it didn't really matter because we only did six potions anyway. But so we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Now what I like to do to clean it up is get out some stairs, some blocks of choice, and also take out carpet. Now, I really love using the carpet because then we can put it right over these repeaters right here. So we just put a stair going up over here. Then we put a line of blocks going like this and then just take out your carpets, go into sneak mode and just put carpets right along the tops of every one of these repeaters like this. Come on. Almost there. 
and there we go now i usually like to put an extra one right here as well just so you can get into your brewing stand in case something goes wrong you can always come back here check on your brewing stands and everything like that and then also if you want to just go into sneak mode and put a well you don't have to go into sneak mode just put a block like that so you can block off seeing all that redstone down there and then just do the same thing over here again just put a block up right above this hook right here then we're going to go ahead and put a carpet right there you know what? let's just go like this real quick there we go and just clean it up like that so there you guys go that is how you build my industrial brewing stand you know what let's go over here one more time so there you go <laughs> so now you got a better look at it it's been lagging a lot maybe because i have so many of these industrial brewing stands right next to each other with all these items in the item frame so that's probably making my game lag a little bit so yeah <laughs> if you're gonna build these just build one of them don't build multiple <laughs> don't build multiples of them right next to each other but there you guys have it that's how you build my industrial brewing stand if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned to my newest videos all right guys peace